Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared, and today we have four new Wii slash Civivi knives. Starting this list off, we have the new Setos. Setos. Now, I'll be honest, I think this thing's going to be pretty popular. I like it a lot. It's in 14C, 28M blade steel. So, you guys already know, I love the blade steel. Great mid-grade steel. Super tough. Takes a really, really fine edge. Um, takes just an incredible edge. Holds a good edge. Easy to strop, or it's very responsive to a strop. Um, it's easy to sharpen. And, yeah, just a, a great all-around steel. Now, we have flipping action and reverse flicking action. We'll get to that here in just one second. It has a steel frame lock. So no, it's not titanium. It is a steel frame lock, but it has a, well, they have different versions, but this one is the burlap micarta, which this burlap is not bad. I'm normally not a big fan of the burlap, but in this case, it looks good. And you know, it seems like pretty good quality. Then we have an inset deep carry clip with flat screws. That's amazing. T8 hardware all the way around aside from the clip, which is T6s. Um, the lock bar does give you a little bit of traction on it. And pretty easy to disengage. The detent is nice and early, so it's easy to get past, and it's very smooth on the drop. Well-tuned detent. You can uh, just break well. If I just break the detent, it will fail, but with very little effort, it'll flip every time. Now, it is fresh out of the package, so it's not broken in. And, yeah, I don't even have to really put any effort into it. Just barely, barely break that detent and it'll fly. So, great action. The reverse flick is also great. Not much of a thumb flicker because you just don't have much room, but if you put your thumb down there, you can get it. But the reverse flick is amazing. Good access to it. They give you um, plenty of room to get the, to it with the, the meat of your finger. Not much of a uh, nail flicker, but with the, the skin of your finger, you can get it. And I know people are gonna ask, especially since it's a frame lock, can you do it? Can you reverse flick it left-handed? And yes, I can. I'm not left-handed and I can easily do it and I'm putting pressure on the lock bar. So I have no doubt that it'll be just fine for lefties. Now, it does not have a reversible clip, but you know, you can still do it just fine. Somewhat of a spear point blade, which I love spear points. You guys know I love spear points. Beautiful swedge on top. The jibbing uh, travels down the blade quite a bit or the spine of the blade so you can choke up, get up nice and tight to the edge. Very slim and lightweight. Great size. Um, just all around, it seems like a fantastic user in my opinion. Now, the one little downfall is I wish it was a hollow. It is a flat grind. And, you know, I wish they would have pushed the, the, the choil in a little deeper. But, you know, because when you sharpen back, you're going to wind up sharpening into here. But not that big of a deal. Um, I'm still very, very happy with it. Let's get to the next one. Now, the next one is another Civivi knife. So this one is the Civivi Thug two so they made the thug and they have a premium version of the thug now this one is in you know more affordable materials we have a really really good micarta i think they're uh upping their micarta a little bit this is better quality micarta than i've seen lately a lot better texturing to it nice and grippy while also being nice and soft you can actually feel the texture a lot T8 hardware all the way around, and it has a deep carry clip that is reversible. Um, it is a liner lock with good access to the liner. Very smooth on the drop. The thumb stud and detent is really good for the reverse flick. I actually really like reverse flicking this, but the thumb flick too. The detent is... It's not on the stronger side. But it's extremely well tuned where you can easily slow roll it. And the flick is also very easy. So great action, man. Great, great action on this. I can get a full four finger grip, but if I move back here, you know, I'm struggling with the pinky there, but I can choke up. 
nice geometry. The geometry is a, it's a hollow, it's a dual ground tanto. So we have a flat grind up here and a hollow down here. And this hollow is nice and deep, very thin behind the edge. This is going to slice really good. Um, and then you have the secondary tip for maybe opening things up. Um, the blade steel is nitro V steel. We actually just did a live sharpening on nitro V steel. Um, on this knife right here on the Civivi Conspirator. We just did a live sharpening on this baby. This thing is screaming sharp. Hair whittling sharp. Now, the thumb studs are easy to get to. And yeah, really, really nice. I, I, I surprisingly like this thing because uh, it's not really my style, but you know, it'll, it, it's a lot better than I would have thought, and it's actually surprisingly good. Um, not saying that I thought it was going to be bad, but getting it in hand makes me feel a lot different about it than uh, seeing it in pictures. Let's get to the next one. Now, this next one is a Wii knife in titanium, all titanium frame lock with a titanium backspacer and a milled titanium clip, and it is in 20 CV. Super snappy detent. It is a clip point buoy style blade, nicely thinly ground, and this action is super, super smooth. The detent is fantastic. Um, very, very well tuned. Access to the lock bar could be a bit better. It is a little tight in there, but it's pretty easy to disengage. Uh, but it's still, I wish they would have cut this back a little bit, but it, it's easy to get past the detent. I'll say that. And man, is it smooth. Very comfortable in the hand. And you can take advantage because it has such a minimal flipper tab that you can easily choke up. I actually really like that, how they did that. The milling, there's micro milling all over the titanium. Very grippy. Lots of intricate milling on the inside. I don't know. I don't think there's any milling on the inside, but lots of heavy milling on the outside. T8 hardware all the way around. Even on the steel lock bar insert, that's even a T8. It does have an over travel stop and a steel lock bar insert. The choil looks really nice. I like how they did that plunge grind there. It stops way back there, so you have all of this life to sharpen off. Nice satin finish. Yeah, this is really nice. Um, beautiful centering. The handle is nice, big, and thin. So it's very thin in the hand, but it's broad, and it really locks in place. You have this little scoop right there that, that feels like it kind of captures your hand a little bit more the way this curls out right there so this could be a, a real heavy user for those that really like having a clip point and it's man it's so smooth and the geometry seems like it'll cut extremely well like very very well especially with a low angled uh, edge very cool. Let's get to this next one. Now, the next one, which, which is the star of the show, the Mini Malice. Now, if you follow my channel at all, you know I love my Malice. This is the Wii Malice. Fair and Forge design, but this is discontinued. This is a large knife, a fantastic knife. And now they have the Button Lock Mini Malice, which... Even though it is a mini, it is still a great size. Such a good size. Uh, I believe it's a three inch blade, 20 CV blade steel. So we have premium steel, titanium scales, titanium milled pocket clip, no backspacer. Now let's talk about the action. The detent is, ooh, nice and, nice and stiff in a good way though. Not like too stiff, but Yeah, it's good. Let's. Whoo! Yeah, it's great. Oh yeah, that's really good.
Yeah, that's amazing. I got to try this out at Blade Show. Yeah, just as good as the, the one I tried at Blade Show. Nice strong detent with some nice jimping around the flipper tab. Can I fail it? I can fail it, but I do have to try. As long as I'm attempting to flip it, it'll flip every single time. And the reverse flick is also really good. Thumb flick. Yeah, that's great. Lots of weight relieving on the inside. The sound is really nice. Very metallic, you can really hear it uh, deploy in the, you know, the lockup, which is really good. Very solid, man. That's awesome. Good size stop pin for the blade. Solid lockup. It is new, so we'll see how that button breaks in. You can see the Ferrum Forge design. Back here, I still can get a full four finger grip, but it is tight. With this choil though, it is really nice. I love the blade shape. We have a drop point blade, um, quite a bit of belly, so you can still use that belly for slicing, but it's still gonna be easy to get to the tip for utility cuts. Stupid smooth action. Yeah, this is a winner for sure. Stone wash too. The, the, it is uh, blacked out, but you could see how it's got a stone washing over it which I do really like. That helps if you do get a colored version. You're not going to have to really worry about scratches too much. Of course, you can scratch it, but it's going to be, it's going to hold up a lot better. And this edge is really, really good for a factory edge. Wow, I'm impressed with that edge. Really good edge for the factory. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So there you guys go. Just a quick look at these new knives from we and savivi i love you guys thank you guys for watching peace